Hello guys, it's me, Mike Padua, back again to our latest weather analysis, and we are back to our usual uh, updates since uh, we don't have any threatening uh, cyclone affecting the Philippine Islands as of this time, although we have Falcon. This cyclone is not expected to make direct effects to our country. And this is for today weekend of uh, July 30 and until uh, Tuesday, August 1, 2023. Our English version is brought to you by Typhoon 2000 in partnership with Naga College Foundation, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, Avenue Plaza Hotel, the local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion, and our Honorable Congressman Gabi Bordado of the 3rd District of Camarines Sur. Let's proceed now with our uh, graph set, which we created yesterday, and this is uh, valid for today's Sunday. We have here the uh, new storm, Canon, as uh, Egai is just a uh, remnant depression it's likely to be a low pressure system over the inland areas or the interior areas of china so heavy rains will still be expected here on the remnants of egai or Tuxuri. while uh, monsoon trough is passing across batanes and cagayan valley so expect some cloudy skies with some isolated to scattered rain showers and thunderstorms and this is connected with another cyclone this is uh, now the new one, Tropical Storm uh, Canon, that's the international name with local name Falcon, that's uh, given by Pagasa. And it's now a severe tropical storm as we speak, and currently it's right here to the east of uh, Cagayan. And it's moving north-northwest, a speed of 15 kilometers per hour towards the southern islands of Japan. So this is the area that the storm is heading to. And uh, as the storm is passing over the northern part of the Philippine Sea, we expect that the uh, continued effects of the southwest monsoon will prevail, affecting uh, Visayas and uh, becoming more frequent with on and off occasional rains over uh, western sections like Panay, uh, Iloilo, Guimaras, western sections of uh, Negros, and uh, the whole of the uh, Sulu Archipelago, northern Palawan, Parts of Western Palawan as well as Occidental Mindoro will uh, be experiencing on and off to uh, monsoonal uh, continuous rainfall. Okay, and uh, also across the western sections of uh, Central and Northern Luzon will be affected by the uh, southwest monsoon, and uh, Metro Manila will not be spurred. There will there are times, especially in the afternoon or evening, that continuous effects of the monsoon rains will be expected so watch out for possible flooded uh, areas flooded streets in low-lying areas across the metropolis and uh, in uh, the mountainous areas of Zambales and uh, Cordillera administrative region Ilocos region as well watch out for possible landslides that will be generated as well as the uh, flooding in those areas due to the monsoon will continue to be a threat throughout the week since this system will prevail until August 1 or 2 August 2 is likely the final landfall near Shanghai so we expect this kind of uh, rain situation particularly we're now heading into the uh, peak of the uh, southwest monsoon so every time we have a tropical cyclone over the western pacific heading either towards japan korea or china or taiwan we expect the southwest monsoon to be there with some on and off rainfall particularly during the night time and early morning or late afternoons okay and here's the uh, fast animation so this system is also a large one uh, heading towards the uh, southern islands of japan it's similar to Egai, almost a thousand kilometers across. And uh, that's the reason why the southwest monsoon is still uh, continuing to uh, affect the western sections of the country. And here's the uh, uh, infrared satellite animation from weathernerds.org. And you can clearly see here the uh, pulsating uh, effects of the uh, southwest monsoon across western sections of central Luzon, although it receded. There are now sunshine across uh, Ilocos region and Cordillera administrative region. In the next few days, it will again be back because the uh, the line of sight of the system, once the system is uh, over this area, okay, let me change this. So if the system moves here, 
once it's here the line of sight of the monsoon is going to be that way so the uh, rain bands will now shift towards the western sections of Luzon and uh, here's the zoom in satellite animation from windy.com and you can clearly see here a uh, broad uh, convection okay over to the west of central Luzon standing by once the system moves here it will again bring heavy monsoon rains here over the western sections of central Luzon up to Ilocos region Cordillera administrative region and uh, also affecting uh, the western sections of southern Luzon Batangas, Cavite, Laguna, Metro Manila and the western sections of uh, uh, Mindoro so that's the fate that uh, they are uh, feeling right now because of this uh, storm okay so it will be more frequent over Zambales, Bataan so uh, take all our precautions for possible uh, continued flooding and landslides across these mountainous uh, areas of the uh, said regions okay and uh, let's take a look now at the uh, Asian agency trucks so most of them agree that it will pass in the vicinity of Okinawa within the next 48 hours so that will be on Tuesday Tuesday morning or uh, Tuesday uh, uh, early morning and it will track uh, over uh, the uh, East China Sea making landfall over uh, eastern China or southeastern China on uh, Thursday August 3 so that will be in the vicinity uh, to the south of uh, Shanghai so please take all necessary precautions down there and uh, here's the uh, forecast track from the European model for the next three days um, nothing changes it's still the same so that will be the track. Southwest monsoon prevailing over the Philippine Islands. Tuesday, August 1, it will be uh, passing over Okinawa. Now the line of sight will continue to trigger the southwest monsoon across the western sections of Luzon, including Metro Manila. And uh, August 2, it will be approaching uh, to the south of Shanghai, preparing to make landfall. And uh, Thursday, it will now over. It will now be over the uh, inland areas of uh, eastern China and the southwest monsoon will continue to be a factor of the weather here in uh, Batanes, Bawian Group, western sections of Luzon and on Friday August 4 we are looking at another cyclone that is likely to form here northwest of Guam but it's not going to enter the Philippine area responsibility it will move in the general direction of the southern islands of Japan and on August 6, another cyclone will form in the vicinity of Okinawa, just to the east, becoming a tropical storm. And it will follow the said uh, new cyclone. So there might be two tropical cyclones in span of uh, between August uh, 4 to 6. And it will continue to uh, be, the fac be a factor to the southwest monsoon across western sections of the zone. So it looks like there will be just one or two days of... Uh, uh, decrease rainfall over western Luzon before another one will again enhance it so even though it's outside of power cyclones which is not moving or barely moving or moving slowly will continue to uh, uh, pull the southwest monsoon across the western sections of Luzon so here's the three hour forecast until August 4 just to show to you uh, the effects of the monsoon across the Philippine Islands. So here we go. As the cyclone moves towards the uh, northwest, here we go. That's uh, Falcon becoming a typhoon over Okinawa or before Okinawa, and then the southwest monsoon will continue here. The eastern sections of the country will remain fair, sunny in the morning, but there are also some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms, but definitely it will be. Uh, more on a drier side of things here across the eastern sections of the country and uh, most of the rainfall are concentrated here in the uh, along the western sections of Luzon including Mindoro that's why the three-day rainfall accumulation so this is the uh, the path of the storm for the next three days okay and then uh, here's the uh, uh, southwest monsoon affecting uh, the uh, western sections of the country or particularly here our western zone 
while some uh, rain showers will also be expected over western Visayas uh, because of the because of the monsoon. So uh, don't forget to always bring your umbrella and rain gear since we are now at the peak of the southwest monsoon as we enter the month of August. There are some models that suggest that within span of August uh, 2 to 8, outside of the Philippine area responsibility, we are likely to see 3 to 5 back-to-back tropical cyclones forming, but it's moving towards the north, not a threat to our country. And we will keep you updated if there are some changes. And we will return again in the next couple of days. This is Mike Padua saying happy weekend to all. Have a great uh, family time with your loved ones. Thank you so much for watching our channel and God bless to all.